our YouTube. Before we get carried away with this whole cutting, I really need to jump in here and just explain a few things, explain to you what I'm doing, how I'm doing it, why I'm doing it. All right, so I have pretty much, before I get started, I'm talking to my 100 viewers out there, my consistent viewers. I appreciate you guys for rocking with me. If you aren't subscribed already, subscribe to the channel. We need these views to go up, man. I need you guys really to dial in and focus in. If you're trying to get shredded, if you are trying to make some gains in and out of the gym, I know a lot of us are still at home, so I do a lot of home workouts, all right? So back to what I was saying, pretty much I have been dieting, cutting, you know, losing weight, losing fat from about, let's say, September 3rd, you know what I mean? Uh, right now it's September 26th. So we can say I have been dieting for about 20 to 23 days, you know, consistently on my diet, consistently on my training, and really just focus, dialed in, and really trying to bring that men's physique, physique that I've always had, that I've always worked for. You know, this quarantine, you know, it, it, it was fun. You know, we all have used the excuse, you know, I'm quarantined right now, I don't need to worry about how I look, you know, eat whatever I want. And that's just what we say mentally to, you know, help us get through those long days. But look, man, it's time to get right back to it, you know, so 2021 is on the way. We're at the end of September. Guys, it's time to get right, all right? So again, if you aren't subscribed, you might wanna subscribe right now, just so you can stay up to date on all these videos, man. I'm really gonna be dialing in and giving you some diet tips, some training tips. I wanna address some questions that I've been getting. So uh, I had a question the other day about what body parts should I train, all right? So that's one of those, whatever fits you best, do that. So I'm just gonna tell you what, I've, what I'm doing. Monday is a leg day for me. I like to start the week off with a nice leg day. All right, YouTube, this is day one, all right? Time to get shredded, time to bring some real gains, all right? So Monday, day one, legs. Kicking it off with legs, that's how I love to start a good week, knocking this out. Now I might even do two leg days a week, so we'll play it by here. Tuesday, I'm hitting chest and back, getting that ant antagonistic training in where I'm focusing on building a bigger chest, which in turn is gonna give me a bigger back. So I want both of those to go together. So I've trained the opposing uh, muscle groups. Hitting chest and back right now. I got a super set where I'm gonna hit some barbell bench press for a few reps. And then I'm gonna hit some dumbbell rows bent over with two dumbbells. All right. So really focus, man. Get your feet in a good placement and just lower the bar down nice and slow and push up more like a tap and go we don't have to rest on our chest and we're also not dropping it super hard on the chest all right just a touch and go six seven eight nine Catching your breath just a little bit. We jump right here. I'm using resistance bands with this one because the dumbbells aren't so heavy. So I wanna add more resistance. So I love these resistance bands because it's easy to use, all right? So you can do them actually with just the resistance band, but I like to use them with the weights. So holding resistance bands, I just grab my weights. Simple as that. Bend over, chest out a little bit, you know looking in a neutral position and you're squeezing your back. Try not to use too much of your biceps. Drive with your elbows. Really squeeze that back. And then on Wednesday, I'm hitting shoulders, I'm hitting arms, you know, biceps, triceps, opposing again, and antagonistic, you know, hitting all the deltoids. All right, guys, this is day three of the split, okay? I'm doing shoulders and I'm doing arms. Let me show you my sort of movement. I'm doing some lateral raises. Super set it with some bicep curls.
Now, once Thursday comes, now we're back to the lower body, all right? We're back to training legs, we're hitting everything, and we might switch up things, whether we're going for strength or hypertrophy based off of what we did Monday. And then coming on Friday, we're going in with a push day. We're hitting chest, shoulders, and we're hitting the triceps, all right? Really trying to dig deep and really focus on the hyper hypertrophy of those exercises simply because we, we really want to uh, get the volume in so we can grow the muscle. You know, we want to fill the muscle with blood, really fatigue the muscle. So that's why we throw that hypertrophy in. And then come Saturday, we're hitting a nice pull day where we're hitting all our pulling movements, where we're training our back, our rear delts, our traps, you know, although your rear delts got hit with your push day, uh, we're still gonna hit them again because we're hitting the upper back, all right? And so then we're gonna also target those biceps, really focusing on the peak, all right? So that peak is important, especially when you wanna do that front double bicep, you wanna make sure you are training this, all right? Really squeezing the muscles. So that's pretty much the split, guys. I mean, there's no, there's no right or wrong when it comes to your splits. What you really just wanna do is focus on how you feel throughout the week, you know? Are you able to train uh, frequently? I know you can, a lot of people throw a nice rest day in the middle of the week, I don't. You know, I rest on Sundays. So now let's talk about the diet, all right? So diet is super strict, and it's strict to the point where, um, if it fits your macros, because obviously I'm using my fitness pal, and that's what it is. It's all about macros, how you fit your meals in. But I'm real strict when, when it comes to eating the same meals over and over every single day, repetition. So I think for me, that's the best way for me to not overthink things and really just wake up in the morning and eat the same exact thing. The only thing that changed for me is dinner. My wife comes home and she prepares dinner. So my day will be geared towards what I'm always doing and then whatever she cooks for dinner, I will fit that into my macros. So my last meal is normally the really if it fits your macros because whatever she makes, I'm fitting it in, all right? So that's how I am able to maintain uh, a diet, you know, mon a Monday through Thursday. And then on Sunday, man, it's football Sunday, football season. Shout out to uh, the Steelers right there. Steel Curtain, we're back. We get, we're hitting them hard early. Yeah, Sunday is a whatever day for me, you know? It's a cheat day, you know? So uh, when you get deeper into your cut and you really wanna get that fat off, you wanna focus on getting that one cheat meal. But right now, we're so early in the diet phase that a cheat day is, you know, it's, it's doable. Hopefully you've seen my first cheat day video. If you haven't, go see that video, guys. I want you guys to really tune in so you really can get an idea of how I'm eating, how I'm training, so then you could do the same thing. Just fit it towards, you know, your goal, all right? So I really wanted to jump in here because I wanted to give you guys the physique update, which I haven't, and it's been about 20, 23 days, like I said. So here's how fat I was at the beginning stages, all right? So, Day one, day two, day three, whatever. This is how I was looking, guys. So it's, it's not it's not a nice physique, you know? It's not what I'm used to, it's not what I want. But uh, I enjoyed, you know, the, that March, March all the way to obviously September where I was, you know, eating. I was training, you know, in-house, you know, barbells, dumbbells, resistance bands, but I was pretty much eating whatever I wanted, you guys. I don't do a lot of sweets, so that's not really a problem. But uh, when it comes to greasy food, you know, uh, carb loaded food, fatty food, I was getting it all in, all right? So nothing wrong with that, but sometimes you gotta just under look in the mirror and be like, this is what I want, I need to change this, all right? So I'm changing that now. So I wanted to jump in here to give you the physique update of what I'm looking like now. The fat is dropping, the fat is coming off the body, I'm getting leaner. The scale is not moving. I'm about three pounds lighter when I first started, which is okay, because this is about, what, three weeks? So a pound a week, you know, give or take, but that's okay for me, you know? I'm not really concerned about dropping weight, I'm more concerned about dropping the fat. So I recommend that you also pay attention to that scale, all right? Go ahead and step on the scale daily, sure, but keep in mind that it's not always about that number. It's about how you look in the mirror. So take your physique photos. I take a lot of photos of myself, uh, you know, at least four times a week. I don't really take too many pictures on the weekend simply because um, I do consume alcohol. So uh, alcohol will play around with your numbers on the scale, all right? Because you will dehydrate yourself when you drink alcohol. That's for another video. Um, comment below if you want to hear me talk about, you know, alcohol and fitness. But uh, yeah, man, so that's pretty much what I'm doing. And as far as cardio goes, uh, I'm not overdoing the cardio. Not overdoing it, but I am getting in some hit sessions here, some list sessions here, but I'm not overdoing it, guys. Uh, let's say no more than 20 minutes a day 
if that, you know, 10 to 20 minutes is enough. Don't just jump out there and start doing 60 minutes of cardio. That is crazy. Uh, you'll just end up losing a whole bunch of weight. The fat will still be there. You'll just be saggy. It'll be, it'll be disgusting, right? So you don't want to do that. You also want to make sure you're lifting, trying to build strength, get stronger. That's the goal too. You want to make sure that you're focused on building strength. Females build strength. It's okay to build muscle. No, you're not going to look like a man because you do not have as as much testosterone, if any, as we do, all right? You have a lot of estrogens. Just jumping in there, man, 20 days, 23 days in, giving you guys the update. And this is, what I'm, this is what I'm doing. So I'm gonna be giving you the videos uh, pretty much, you know, at least four, four times a week, maybe even three, you know, I don't wanna overdo it, but uh, I'm giving you guys some workouts, I'm giving you guys some fitness tips, and I'm giving you guys the nutrition side, all right? So make sure you subscribe to the channel, guys. Share this video with your friends, your family, everybody, all right? We wanna get everybody involved. You're not the only one who wants to see this. You clicked on this, but you're not the only one who wants to see this. Some people don't know, hey, let's go to YouTube and check out some videos. So show them, tell them, bring them to the channel, all right? Bring everybody aboard. The channel is actually growing, so I appreciate all you guys for rocking with me, especially if you're my OG subscribers. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate all the likes. Again, to my 100 viewers consistently, thank you for viewing the video. But with that being said, man, I'm gonna check out and uh, I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one.